um, the mountain lion was actually killed by a bigger mountain lion where we lived, and he was found about two or three miles up a very, very steep trail. And these people came down from, uh, from the hike and said, did you know there's a mountain lion on the trail? And I said, you didn't bring it down? They said, no, it's really heavy. He weighed about 120 pounds at the time. So I sent my husband and a f other friend up with an empty backpack frame. And they hiked up, and it took two of them to haul it down. And then I had to skin him immediately because you couldn't put him in the freezer. He was too big. So here I'm trying to skin this guy, and it's dark, and we have our lanterns out. And it's, uh, it was an adventure. I had another mountain lion that got hit on the side of the road, and I had a little bug with a little kind of a rack on the back. And I, so, <laughs> and so I put the mountain lion on the back of my bug, and it, I have to drive really slow on the way home. And people would pass me, and I'd let them pass me, because I'm going like oh, 20 miles an hour on Highway 1. And, and then they would stop and make me pass. They'd wake up their kids. They'd take pictures. I'm going, oh, this is not good. You know, I'm hoping my license plate isn't showing. But I, I do have permits to allow me to do this, but I don't want to cause a lot of people to uh, think I'm doing something illegal, because it is illegal to pick animals up off the road unless you have a permit. So <laughs> those were my adventures with mountain lions. The alpine environment is the highest of all of the ecosystems that we have here in the Sierra. It's above the tree line. That's what the definition is. And you have so many factors there that animals and plants have to deal with in order to live there. And the alpine environment, like I said, starts right where the trees stop. It's really rocky. It's really windy. The temperatures are much colder and there are little microclimates up there behind rocks, behind snow banks on the south side versus the north side of mountains. So different animals have adapted to live up there, but not very many animals live up there at all. It's a pretty desolate looking place when we first get there, but if we look really closely, we can find things. So elevation has a big role. So does just climate and being above the trees. When you look at it, it looks desolate. It looks like, oh, nothing could ever live here. It's just rocks and wind and little patches of snow. And in the winter, really extreme cold temperatures and exposure. I think when you look really closely and find those animals that live up there and plants, you learn about how they have adapted to live up there. And it's really exciting. One of the reasons they've adapted to live up there is there's not much competition up there so there aren't very many animals that can live up there so the ones that do have to have diverse feeding habits they have to have ways that keep them from freezing in the winter and some of them <laughs>